Hi, Knit Alongers, Beth Whiteside here. Um, this is another on-the-go video um, uh, to go along with our Knit Along uh, in the Autumn 2015 issue of Creative Knitting. Um, you're looking at the coasters that we're making. Um, in the last video I talked about how to work the crochet out uh, cast on, and in this video I want to talk a little bit about the increases that are used on these two coasters. Uh, they might be ones you've never seen before. So I'm going to pull out my little tiny swatch here uh, on my double points just in order to show you how to do the increase. And this is a similar situation to what you're going to see on that garter spoke coaster. That would be this one right here. You can see the spokes coming out and they're all stockinette stitches. If you see each of these, it's a, a row of knit stitches um, with the garter in between the spokes. So that's what I mean by spokes. And so here's my little swatch. I'm going to try not to drift to the left uh, as I show you this. Bear with me. So I'm going to work over until I get to that spoke stitch. That's where the increases are going to be made. Um, I've seen this particular increase referred to as a lifted increase. Um, in our in instructions it just says increase and so what you do when you do this lifted increase is you work into the back I'm holding the the back of the stitch in the row below the one on the needle out because that's where we'll be working into um, you can make this one a single increase or a double increase and I'll show you how to do both so um, you insert the needle from the front to the back through that the back of that stitch through the one in the row below. You wrap around the back needle in whatever way you normally do and then you pull through, here I'm going to do it real slowly, I'm just pulling the wrap through the back of that purl stitch and that's one stitch increased so it looks like this. Then you work the stitch on the needle, the original one, and slide it off and now you have to work, if you want to make it a double increase, you work in the same place as the one on the right but it's now uh, three stitches down. The one you made, the original stitch, and then that one below. So it can be a little tough to find that one. I'm going to nudge around in the back here. Let's see if I can show you. Nudge around in the back. Never be afraid to pull the work apart if that helps show you where things are. There's my stitch leg on the left side. I'm going to dig in and find the back of that then pull this other mess out of the way. So I just have the top of that purl bump on the needle put my right needle in, wrap across the top, pull through, and there are my three stitches, whoop, here we go, there are my three stitches made out of one right there. So that's what that's going to look like. Um, for the seated stockinette, uh, when you get around to doing just the seed stitch border at the top, you'll be purling uh, in the same place that we made these two. You'll be doing a purl increase, a purl raised uh, increase, if you will or lifted increase. Um, it's just that you're coming in from back to front but through that same spot just from the back uh, with the yarn in front to purl on either side of the center knit stitch. Okay, that's it. See you in the knit along.